so magical and mystical here. Follow my lead, and we'll be and dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. <laughs> Hoo-wee! Hello, hello, hello! Hope you guys are all having a great day. This is Salaviathan and we are back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2. We're on Episode 7. Uh, we got into um, getting it, looking into getting the next vestige here. You know, we um, we went to uh, the Rhyme Cleft in which we had to kind of find the second Sphinx here and um, kind of show us where the other vestiges are. You know, the Sphinx had its own little challenges here. Um, it needed to feel pain and everybody Everybody got into these one-on-one -on -one matches with it, but nobody could really hurt the Sphinx here except for Scanlan, who hurt who wounded the Sphinx in the most epic, epic way. He wounded his heart. The Sphinx had his own vestige with him, and now Scanlan got that vestige, but it was short-lived, you know, where we got Umbrasil coming in. During the whole episode as well, you know, Grog was dealing with the whole Craven Edge thing until it finally culminated in him fighting the dragon and then finally stabbing Pike. It was crazy, man. The next vestige here is in the Fey Realm. But now Vox Machina got separated. Let's get started with this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And drop a comment down below on your thoughts on the reaction. I'd love to read it. But we're not going to waste time. Let's get started with The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 7, The Fey Realm. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, what happened oh, to the others? I don't know. Uh, Umbrasil disrupted my spell. Oh, I, I managed to that's what happened the there. Ones. Okay, because I was wondering what was going on there, because it was it was taking everything out of her. But Pike, she was with Grog and Scanlan. We have to believe they're okay. And are we? Well, I was trying to take us to the next vestige of divergence. Oh, that is the prettiest bird I have ever. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you Welcome gotta to fear family. everything here, even the wildlife. Without Pike, we don't have a healer, and without Grog, we don't have our muscle, and without Scanlan, we have less dick jokes. Ugh, this grass is making me dizzy. We should check that distant range. Most bogs drain from the mountains. How far away is that? Did I break it? What in the hell is going on here? <laughs> this place is so weird. <laughs> the mystery, the danger. I like this Why place. I, I really do. I could get my it's so it's so magical and mystical here. Follow my lead, and we'll be and fine. dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> An awoken grove. The environment may react to your mood. Just project positivity and it will remain harmless. This is so stupid. Rex! Can't believe I'm wasting this on a plant. Harmless? Bizarre. That shouldn't have happened. It's because Vax is pushing out negative emotions right now. He's still dealing with a lot of the whole Machin of Raven stuff, so I understand why that Awoken Forest would have done that. Shit. Oh shit, Pike. Pike! What did I do? It was an accident. Do me a favor. Put that thing down. Pucky, did you stop leaking? I'm trying, buddies. But the wound won't close all the way. <sighs> no, no, get it away from Pike right now. That sword is totally fucking evil. It's not. It makes me strong. There's nothing wrong with it. Maybe, like, his tribe made him feel weak, you know? And now this thing is making him feel a lot stronger. That thing belonged to... You are nothing without me. They are jealous. You're right. They are jealous. God? 
are you doing? Bodies, don't do this. What are you doing? Nope, not listening. Sorry. Do it. Do it. Just do it. That sword is nothing but trouble. All that blood stored up, what? Um, I think we've been here before. To the untrained eye, the Fey Realm can be confusing. Are you sure? Because we've been walking for a while and the sun's in the exact same spot. Oh. <laughs> there is an explanation <gasps> to that one. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? He's waking up. Grog, you with us? Uh, I don't know what came over me. I know. Everything's okay now. Uh, is it? Oh, my muscles! Where'd they go? No, 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 no. Oh, oh gods! I'm as beauty as Max! How did Craven Edge do that? Was it because he had the sword for a while and the sword was like linked to his body? Grog. I promise we're gonna fix you. <laughs> Let's try again. Who are you and why are you following us? You can call me Garmili. What are you reading? Don't open that. No, uh, no. Uh, oh. No, I did not. No, nope, he's not keeping any notes, bro. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh my god! My books were filled with creatures like this. Best we ignore him. Your books have done a fat lot of good for us so far. He's still pissed about what happened with Vex. He's gotta forgive her him at some point. You sure you don't need any help? I think I got it. I can feel my strength coming. My man can't even walk! It like took away all of his strength! All of it! Alright, let's move our big boy. Uh, yeah. Well, we got some miles behind us, and we got some more to steer. <laughs> for rocky roads and rivers. What is this country song? <laughs> Twist and land. <laughs> Ouch! God! Oh, I can't even drink! Oh, God, this is worse than death! He'll back. Come on, I got you. Don't want to stay in your tiny, tiny chest. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Scanlan the caregiver. That's not a bad thing. Oh. Gotta let love come to you, Scanlan. Stop forcing it. Welcome to the Fae Realm! Garmili's here to help when you need him. I can literally see the bog we need. Thank you. Percy, you study these? Of course. They're, uh, well, I think they're called, uh... Do not touch those things. I guarantee they're like acid slugs or something. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I was joking about the deadly thing. Oi, heads up. Yo. I was worried those spores might have 
They're, yo, they're definitely high as a kite. <laughs> I knew it. She's going through a whole psychedelic adventure, man. <laughs> Drink you it. are super fucked up. <laughs> Let's never fight again, okay? I love you so much. We love you so <laughs> These guys haven't moved an inch. <laughs> that one hundred percent describes those types of trips. I wasn't about to give up on you. There must be a way. Some natural weakness. Fire. I think maybe their natural weakness might be. Oh wait, never mind. That was the complete opposite. I didn't want your help. That's the thing with nobles. We're rather stubborn. Whatever happens, I'll have your back. That creature... It was drawn to me. You saw it too. The matron... I don't know what's happening, but it's like... I'm headed in a different direction from the rest of you. That's what it's been feeling like. Like th like this mage is trying to constantly put like a wedge between him and his friends. Mm. Especially Vex. Like a Especially Vex. The fun. Not me. I feel incredible. Like we're all just prisoners of our own anxieties searching for connection <laughs> in this Oh, oh. oh. oh man. Oh, I can taste the colors, yeah. For your next journey, the Shade Mark awaits. Shade Mark? That bow of yours? The tree you seek lies there. They escaped. Get you focus on their relics. They are known as the vestiges of divergence. Ordak, they could imbue the conclave with incredible power. Our ascension would be assured. It is already assured. Thordak, you are too, too cocky. You need to listen to Umbrasil. Umbrasil's smart right here. He's like, we need to take these weapons from them before they use it against us. my riches. The fool can become a god. Oh my god, Anna Ripley's gonna put a wedge between them. Thordak's plans will reveal themselves in time. And when they do, we will all be gods. Might as well replace me with a corpse. Your dead corpse. Oh, don't worry, Grog. Everlight, please protect them. Wherever they are. Guys! Guys! We're here. A city. Alas, we'll have to pass through it to reach your bog. It's Singorn. You've been there before. We lived there. With our father. Oh no. We're finally gonna get the answers to what the hell Vax and Vex are and what their history is with their father. Oh, well, right. Guys, Legend of Vox Machina, scene to episode 7. You know, um, we definitely unexpected episode, you know, I, I knew we were going to be separated um, between each other, but it seemed as though the fame realm impressed me a lot more than I thought it was going to. Them kind of traversing through the place, seeing how weird it is, seeing how all the plants kind of interact with like emotions and stuff. Even when he was like talking about the mountain from afar and then they touched it and the mountain was right there. That was like beyond trippy, man, I swear. And then now we have Grog, you know, he broke the Craven's Edge. I feel like it's going to maybe come and play a role at some point a little bit later. I don't think it's done yet. <laughs> I don't. Um, but it looked as though it took its prize. I don't know how it, it sucked out all the uh, like m muscle strength out from Grog. But it, I think it's because of the fact that um, 
I think it's because of the fact that it was connected with Grog. So when he broke it, it kind of took everything. And maybe maybe his tribe of people never really acknowledged his strength. And that's why he felt that he needed the Craven's Edge. Who knows? We'll see. But now we've gotten into through the Fade Dimension a little bit more. And we found the city of Singorn. So this was the elven city that uh, Vex and Vax are from. During that time, we saw that... Um, that vision with that with vax but maybe that wasn't actually a vision of of the of like the past maybe that was a vision of the future and we're actually gonna maybe witness and meet her father here but you know with that note i'll see you guys around take care and have yourself a great rest of your day Bye bye